The title of my science fair project is fixed or adjustable. My question is, if it is more efficient to have a fixed solar panels on your roof or adjustable solar panels that will always be uh, face, facing the sun. My hypothesis uh, was that uh, the adjustable solar panels will be more efficient because uh, the face uh, of um, the panel will always uh, be pointing at uh, the sun. And the purpose of my uh, project uh, was to see if it is more efficient to have uh, fixed solar panels on your roof or adjustable solar panels that uh, are always moving uh, to uh, face the sun. The materials that I needed were a uh, solar panel, flashlight, dark room, current meter, voltage meter, and the electrical load, also called a resistor. The meter was to set the solar panel perpendicular or 90 degrees to the constant light source, which is the flashlight. And then I had to connect the solar panel to the electrical load. And I had to uh, um, measure the current in the milliampers and the voltage in volts. And then I had to record both the readings and the angle of the solar panel. And I had to decrease the angle of the solar panel by 10 degrees. Then I have to repeat steps 2 and 3 until the light source is parallel or 0 degrees to the solar panel. And I have to calculate the power output for the solar panel for the solar panel for all the measured angles and I have to chart the results. The results were that when the flashlight was pointing at the face of the cell I got uh, the most electricity, as you can see uh, on uh, these um, two graphs. And then each time I turned the cell by 10 degrees, I got less electricity. When uh, the cell was 90 degrees to the flashlight, I got no electricity. My conclusions were that my hypothesis was correct. The sun's angle greatly impacts how much uh, power the solar cell produces. It will help me in the future if I want to use solar energy to power my house. I will choose adjustable solar panels instead of fixed ones. My bibliography was experiments with electricity, alternative energy sources, and so you have to do a science fair project, alternative energy, Beyond Fossil Fuels, Experimenting with Science, Electricity, How Solar Energy Works, and Harnessing Power from the Sun. My background information, or my questions, are 1. How do solar panels work? Solar panels are devices which absorb sunlight and use the photovoltaic effect method to turn it into electricity. 2. How is the sun's position in the sky determined? The sun's position is determined in degrees of latitude. Question 3. How is the solar energy changed into electricity? Solar panels convert the sun's rays into electricity by exciting electrons in the silicon cells using the photons of light from the sun. Question 4. How do you measure electric current? You measure electric current using a meter that uses volts or amps. Question 5. How does the sun move? The sun goes from east to west. During the summer, the arc goes higher than in the winter. How high the sun goes also depends on what line of latitude you are on. And uh, six, what is the difference of a solar panel and a solar cell? Solar cells contain all the parts necessary to convert sunlight into electricity. Solar panels combine and direct uh, all of that energy output. So 
this is how I did it in my experiment. So this is a black box. So that uh, inside, so inside here is a solar panel which I can change the angle of, and I know the exact angle because I wrote everything down. And then here I have my meter which uh, is connected to the electrical load which is connected to the solar panel inside so uh, first I had to turn on the flashlight um, see what uh, I got here and then uh, quickly write it down because as you can see it keeps on changing and then uh, I so the electricity went through these wires and um, into have more wires and so I get to my results right here which I then wrote into the computer and it turned it into everything here. So inside the box I have not too much, just the solar panel. And then each time I did the experiment, because I had to do it three times, we had to change the flashlight's batteries so that we would get more accurate results because the battery is getting lower and lower all the time. Thank you.